zones, some traps this year, as is Ben Howland having to do that. Yeah, and both coaches, Howland and Terry Keating, trying to find a style of play that benefits their system. Bolden got hit right in the eye. And they blow the whistle. They got hit in the face at least. Let's see if we can pick it up. Right. Got a quick uh, shot right here from Dowdle. Right under the nose. So in the mustache area, that will make your eyes water. And you, a little foggy there. But the mustache area is no good. Any place on the, on the face is no good. Well, that's true. Remember earlier in the year, he battled a concussion. Got hit in a similar play on a loose ball. And so Gonzaga bench have to monitor that, si monitor that situation. Smith, tough shot in the lane. Robert Smith, who averages about 12 points per game, and has really started to learn how to run the offense as a point guard. Well, it's good timing that he got the mismatch that he wanted, got to his area, and was able to score. He's got to go. Game clock at five. Bolden's got to go now. Taking too much time. Gray's got to walk up a long three, and that's a tough way to end the first half. Mark Few saying, Matt, you got to go earlier than that. Gonzaga has trailed that half only five times this season. They're 16 and three. They trail right now, 38-33. So we send it to the ESPNU halftime report and Lowell Galindo. Guys. Back inside the Levy Center, maybe a major upset here. So far it's been Thursday Night Showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. Rolling on, part of ESPNU. Campus Connection Week. The Broncos of Santa Clara, one and four in West Coast Conference play with a five point lead right now over the number eight team of the nation, the Bulldogs of Gonzaga. Terry Gannon back with Stephen Bardo. Too many turnovers in the first half, too much pressure from Santa Clara. Yeah, Santa Clara did a really good job of taking the ball out of the hands of Matt Bolden in particular, but also Stephen Gray. Watch the double team right here. High hands, nice deflection. They get the ball going the other way. Same thing along the baseline. Manny Arap tries to give it off to Robert Sacre, something that he's not accustomed to doing, handling point blank. And the young fellow, Robert Smith, showed up big here in the first half, took his time, got to his spots, and was very effective. And then, Terry, let me show you what Gonzaga needs to do more of this. Elias Harris with the basketball right there. Look at their lifted above the free throw line so they can go back door. Watch Bolden set his defender up and cut back door. Beautiful execution in the half court set. Expect to see more of this from Gonzaga in the second half. And Matt Bolden with 12 points in the first half. And Elias Harris with 10 in the first half of play. 50% from the floor for the Zags, but they did, as I said, turn it over 12 times. That was the problem. 15 points off of turnovers for Santa Clara. Gonzaga has trailed at the half only five other times. They're three and two in those games. And you know, Kerry Keating at halftime told his club, guys, we are here. We outplayed them in the first half and the pressure is on Gonzaga here in the second. Confidence has been one of the things that's been lacking for Santa Clara in the early part of the season, not tonight. No, it really hasn't. They've taken the energy from the crowd and it really played extremely hard on the defensive end and it's allowed them to get some easy buck. Remember, Gonzaga not only undefeated so far in conference play this year, but they've won 21 straight against conference opponents. So that's on the line tonight against a team that's near the bottom in the standing so far in the West Coast Conference. Gonzaga opening up with the basketball to start the second half. We saw that play where they lifted everybody above the free throw line. The block but the foul as Harris took it hard to the hoop. Then Dowdle picking up his second foul. Designed play coming out of halftime to get Elias Harris going one-on-one -on -one to the bucket. He catches it on the left elbow, squares up his defender, Ben Dowdle, and takes him to the hole. And in this eight-game winning streak that the Zags have been on, they've really 
started to go to Elias Harris. Plays designed to get him to basketball. Well, he's, all, he's almost had a double-double in the first half. Ten points, eight rebounds, and trying to clear some space right there. Not really sure, but the officials didn't see it that way, so maybe got away with one. So full court pressure now from the Zags after the free throw. Makes sense for Gonzaga to try to pressure a little bit. Primary ball handler Robert Smith, and then everyone else on the floor right now, Michael Santos not strong handling the basketball. Santa Clara only turned it over six times in the first half. Trying to get it to Tressolini, they can't. He struggles to get it out front. Five on the shot clock. Smith in the lane, tough shot over Sacre. Impossible shot. Solid defensive possession that time by Gonzaga. Giving Santa Clara a little bit of their own medicine that time. Double teaming the basketball, trying to come up with a steal. Here's a double on Harris now. The double team, they get it down to Sacre. Got away with the travel, looked like. Bolden off the swing, a little bit short. Broncos basketball. Pain off balance, contact, no call, and good. But Troy Payne recognizing the opportunity that Santa Clara has this evening. Nationally linked Bulldogs in the house. They're bringing their A game. Students have yet to take a seat throughout this entire game. There's the double again, the trap on the wing. Goodson again wearing number 35 because his number three jersey was torn in the first half. And Robert Smith picks up the foul. Well, you see them looking ahead. Troy Payne bringing the pain to Gonzaga. He's been a agitator all evening on both ends of the floor. Been very aggressive defensively against Matt Bolden and also has been aggressive looking for his opportunities getting close to the bucket. Smith picked up his second. Goodson, who is just a 55% free throw shooter as their point guard, although Bolden handles the ball as much or more than he does. That's going to come back and get him, Terry, though, that free throw shooter. We talked about in the first half. We saw Memphis a couple years ago have the national championship in hand and the last minute and a half couldn't hit their free throws and Kansas forces overtime and you know the, the rest. 66%, not only the worst in the Mark Few era, but last in the conference this year. Goodson just missed two. Dowdle goes right by Elias Harris. Quick first step. Dowdle going with the offhand, Terry. Showing surprising skill right there. Inside out they go. Sacrate Gray, the miss, tipped up. Harris kept it alive. Santa Clara ball. Looking to run. Smith pulls up, gets on net. What an unorthodox shot by Smith. Looked like he went off the wrong way. 6-0 Broncos run. Timeout, Mark Few. Even the alumni on their feet, not just the students right now, sensing a major upset. Santa Clara with a nine-point lead over the number eight team in the nation. Point lead for Santa Clara over Gonzaga. Troy Payne, five points in the game, but doing a lot of different things right now for his club to help build that league, ESPNU. Campus Connection Week, sort of stuff uh, away from the court that you see. Troy Payne spending some time with his family, some of the pictures, and his sister along with him, lower right. Payne, a junior from L.A., Dorsey High School, and a transfer from Citrus College, big part of this nine-point lead right now. And it, Santa Clara, and this has been no fluke, they have taken it right to the number eight Zags. Well, Gonzaga shot the basketball well, 50% in the first half. It's just the 12 turnovers that have been the difference. Holden well short, tipped off of Harris, who was standing out of bounds. Looked like he may have twisted an ankle. Got banged up a little bit, and he's trying to walk it off. 